Hi, this is Bart with the Bicycle Rider, and we're here to talk about PowerPod. PowerPod is a very affordable option for a power meter that has a lot of advantages, and some of that advantages is being able to move from bike to bike. And uh, you know, if you price power meters and, and you ride several different bikes, it's hard to justify you know $400 for each bike that you have to put a, a power meter on. And you know it's so it's so nice to have uh, power data when you're riding. And you know a lot of people I know have bought a power meter for their road bike because that's where they tra primarily train. But you know if you're a mountain bike racer and you're used to riding with power data and you don't have it race day, you know what what good is that? I mean it helps be it helps build your perceived power. But there's nothing like having power on your handlebar. And I found out that today because I did a gravel ride this morning and a mountain bike ride this afternoon. And I'm trying to work on my endurance. It's hot and humid out here in South Mississippi. And to try to ride without power data really can affect your overall performance on a day like today. Because if you, if you push too hard or listen to your heart, rate data uh, it could really mess you up and you end up getting a bonk where if you have steady power data and you get that from power pod it really helps you take a five hour ride and know how you're going to feel at the end of the ride rather than uh, a lot of guys that came in here today blown up and had to cut the course short because they, they didn't have power data and they were li listening to their perceived power and uh, it let them down so there's a lot of benefits to power pod now, I'm not sure if my camera is getting it good because it is kind of a, a fairly small unit so I have trouble even getting a good picture of it but power pod um, everybody asked me how it works and I'm gonna leave that 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 question up to the scientists uh, and engineers who, who developed this but as the end user someone who uses this device to see power on their Garmin or on the Wahoo and also uses it to crunch the data later so you can train smarter. Um, I'm just going to tell you as the end user, as a, a guy that wants to ride bikes and not know the scientific facts of why everything works, um, this thing has been a fabulous tool to help my training and help my racing. So much that if I line up against someone in a mountain bike race, I'm always looking to see who else has got data, uh, power data on their on their screens, and, and that's because that's instrumental in me helping and feel out the crowd of who's going to maybe blow themselves up and who's riding smart. Because those guys that ride smart are the ones that hit the podium. Um, a very rich, veteran racer friend of mine told me a long time ago, because uh, I have a, a bad habit of of hitting everything pretty hard. He said, race as hard as you have to, not as hard as you can. And that has been so true as I've, I've raced for many years now, I, I've learned to do that. And having power data really helps you mitigate your efforts so you can end up strong. And, and you know, without power, it's hard to do it just off a of heart rate because, you know, heart rate data depends on how your body's feeling, how your mind's feeling. And it's, it's hard to judge just by heart rate alone or cadence alone. But power data is the key to let you know just how hard you can push and how long you can push that for. And power data stays steady. There's a lot of information about that, so I'm not even going to try to uh, bore you with that kind of stuff because there's plenty of data on power and actually how this thing works. But just as a bicycle rider who looks at power data on their screen while they're riding and crunches the data later in software to see how training is going and how, how your methods are working, that this is a very economical way to get power on multiple bikes. Um, this year I'm going to be doing some gravel racing and I have I picked a bike here that wasn't, um, that, that let me save some money as far as being able to buy a bike that wasn't five thousand dollars that can still be competitive and let me have some money in my pocket to go do the to do the races 
So I didn't want to spend another $400 on a power meter for a bike that I might not keep for a couple years. Um, and I, I seem to go through bikes pretty quick. So, you know, if you spend, let's say $400 on a power meter and I've spent a little bit less on crank based power meters and I've spent a little bit more on crank based power meters, but for, for this conversation, we'll say a power meter on your crank costs $400. You know, if you sell that bike in a year or two, you're not really going to get that money back out of it. And um, with this movable power meter, you can move it from, from bike to bike uh, very easy. And I did that this morning. I rode gravel for about 30 miles and I was able to see my power data. And then I was able to get on my mountain bike and hammer this for, you know, two hours. And I was able to, you know, see my power meter once again up, up on the screen. And it took me all of, you know, five minutes to, to, to put it from bike to bike. So it does what it's supposed to do. It gives you consistent power data and lets you crunch the numbers later. So uh, let, me just, let me just say in closing that if you have any doubts about PowerPod or the new version three of PowerPod, which is also Bluetooth, so it does ANT and Bluetooth, we're gonna go into detail uh, on this YouTube channel, on the Bicycle Rider YouTube channel as we put this thing through its paces. Um, quick caveat, I've used the version two, the predecessor to this for about three years under some very rigorous conditions. I've left it on my bike during rainstorms and muddy mountain bike races. Uh, it, it's really, over the years, that, that, that unit has held up and given me consistent power data on my triathlon bike, my mountain bike, my gravel bike, and anything else I want. And it, it's nice that I've been able to buy one, one product that goes from, from bike to bike and it does it very easy. So we're gonna go into detail more about how to do some of these things with the power meter. But just, you know, just know that if you have any questions, if the power meter works, let me tell you from a, a user standpoint who, who puts it through its paces, in varied situations that the the power pod works version 3 has been on my bike for about two months now and here in the south we've had quite a few rainstorms uh, it's, it's ridden through the rain it's ridden through the mud it's been in the very hot humid conditions dusty conditions and i'm able to get consistent power on a regular basis to help me with with my training so power pod is a good product and if you want to learn more about it, look at some of our videos coming into the future about how, how to actually um, make this thing work for you. Thank you.